Oh, oh, I didn't know the camera had started. What's up, everybody? It's the thinking American here. And uh, today we're going to be talking about this guy. This guy, uh, he painted himself green to look like the Incredible Hulk. All right, funny story, yeah. But what happened after, tch, you never expect. Basically, this guy paints himself green, all right? To try and look like the Incredible Hulk, obviously. He paints himself. He's thinking, oh, I'm the fucking genius. Really, he's a dumbass, because why would you paint yourself anyway? But this guy painted his whole body green, his ball sack all the way up to his chest area, and just nipples and everything. It was just bad, all right? It was just bad, bad, bad news. And basically, after he's done painting himself, I'm guessing he waits a couple of hours. He's thinking, okay, the joke's over. I can go ahead, take a shower, this paint will come off. Wrong, you motherfucker. This guy cannot get the paint off for anything. So basically, he used paint. Or I guess it's industrialized paint that they use this for uh, artillery. They use this for missiles and strikes and uh, weaponry and big machine guns, stuff like that. They, that's what they use this type of paint for. One, in my opinion, I'm thinking, why in the hell or how the hell can he acquire the paint? Like, how does he get paint meant for war, I guess, or meant for combat or whatever how does he get paint like that in the first place and if he did get it i imagine it cost him quite a bit of money and then second why he would put the paint on that's meant for war or meant for combat purposes why would he do that that doesn't make sense to me but the second thing he went to the doctor and they have certain paint that will stick to your arms and to your whole body this guy was covered in the shit his head and he was a big guy, so that made it even worse. I'm pretty sure he had his all his his ass and everything. It was probably just painted green. I don't know why he painted his ass green, because he's got pants on. The Incredible Hulk never walks out without pants or whatever. But this guy's got green everywhere, pretty much. And the doctors, they can take it off. But what I'm thinking is that if this paint's left on for too long, doesn't it just, like... It just sticks. It just stays there. It won't come off no matter how much surgery is done. But basically what I'm thinking is they went and they removed the paint. They removed it. I, I was surprised. I didn't think they'd be able to remove it. But they removed the paint. They got it off his whole body, off of his ball sack, off of his dick and everything, off of his nose. I don't know how much he actually painted of himself. But they got it off of him. And I'm really proud of the doctors in the U.S. for uh, being able to remove a dumbass, mis a dumbass decision. Because that's just what this guy did. It was a dumbass decision. So basically, they removed the paint and everything. Everything's cool. I'm just concerned. Because how you remove paint that's that, it stays on. You can't get it off. This guy, when the video was posted, he had like three of his family members watching him to try and get the paint off. Nothing will work. So how did they get the paint off? Like, I, I, they had to have scraped up some skin cells or something because... That doesn't make sense to me. But you can take it how you want to take it. This is just my...